For they just unveil a brand new model for the Bronco, the Everglades. Let's talk about this. <laughs> Welcome to the Torque Army podcast. My name is Joel Torque, and today a brand new model once again for the Ford Bronco, the Everglade uh, model. So a special model from Ford, uh, brand new this morning. Uh, this model will be on veal at the Chicago Auto Show. Yes, the auto shows are back in the US, not in Canada, unfortunately. Uh, pretty cool looking Bronco. Uh, tons of package now uh, these days for uh, the Bronco, uh, as we can see. So basically, what's really special about uh, this Everglade model, we've got a big snorkel on uh, the side here, uh, on the side of the hood. And uh, this uh, snorkel is really built uh, to go uh, on, you know, in deep water. Uh, this, uh, you know, usually snorkel are not legal or uh, they're uh, dealer installed. So like I said, Ford really want to specify uh, they got a factory installed snorkel. It's not an accessory. It's not a performance part. It's not something that comes from the dealership. It's really from Ford. So a little bit more about this snorkel. It's a class exclusive signature snorkel, uh, which run on the uh, up passenger side of the A pillar. Like I said, uh, optimized vehicle performance and thus no water raising the engine air intake above the nasty trail condition. It's designed to uh, easy to swap plates and change the direction and the inlet base on the trail and the weather of condition. So uh, really, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, sophisticated uh, snorkel right here. Also coming with that kit, uh, you've got the front and rear axle transfer case uh, and transmission uh, with raised vent to improve uh, the water fording. So you get the uh, capacity of up to 36.4 inches of uh, fording into the water. That's pretty good. Also, you've got the uh, front bumper Ford Performance comes with the new winch, the Xeon 10S Warren winch featuring a 10,000 pound capability uh, and also a 100 foot synthetic line. So basically, you know, um, this new Ford Bronco uh, comes with uh, 35 inch Goodyear mud tires. Uh, you've got the uh, snorkel, you've got the spatial bumper in the front, you've got that winch. You've got also some spatial uh, decals on the side saying it's a Neverglade model. You've got also spatial wheels. Those wheels looks really off-road, old school kind of a little bit. Uh, now, if you're on the YouTube channel, we can see um, this Everglade model goes in some deep water in 36 inches, a little bit more. Uh, you know, if you, <laughs> you know, live in down south, especially uh, near the Everglades, if you have to cross some rivers, uh, you have to go some deep water and all that. Uh, that's a really nice kit. And I think uh, Bronco and Ford are really, you know, utilizing the Bronco brand to offer multiple option of off-roading case. We've got the Sasquatch. Now we've got the Everglades. We've got other packaging also. Now the Bronco Raptor also. Uh, so, you know, if you do some trail, if you go in the Everglades, if you do some high-speed off-roading, there's tons of new models available for the Bronco. And I think it's pretty interesting. So the new Bronco Everglade is going to be available with five exterior color, including the Everglade exclusive low volume desert sun. So that's the one we saw in the video. So if you're looking to get a in more, more unique model of the Everglade, that's really the uh, desert sun color. Also, you've got eruption green, area 51, shadow black and cactus gray. So this new Bronco Everglade will be available this summer and the ordering is going to open in March. No price yet have been announced for this new Bronco Everglades, but uh, I'm sure it will play in the same range of maybe a little bit more expensive than the Sasquatch model, depending on all the options you're choosing. This Everglade model comes with the uh, four-cylinder 2.3-liter EcoBoost who delivers 300 horsepower and 325 foot-pounds of torque. This engine is matched also uh, with the 10-speed automatic transmission. So uh, once again, nice package from uh, Ford for this new Bronco. Uh, tons of new improvement also. 
Uh, online, you can see a lot of details if you're into winch, if you have one or more, more details. Uh, once again, you've got the 10,000 uh, pounds of uh, capacity with this winch. Uh, it's fun to have those, those kind of parts installed uh, at the uh, factory, uh, especially, you know, <laughs> there's the, the snorkel on the side. Those snorkels sometimes are tricky to install, especially when you have to, uh, you know, cut into your fenders and all that. Here on this image, we can see a little bit, uh, you know, the, the, the how the uh, snorkel can change, you know, uh, by the use you want to use it uh so i guess uh, you've got different you know uh front filter uh for your air intake uh for dust for snow and also uh for water and all that so it's pretty cool uh you know it's been a long time you know uh, i think manufacturers want to do a snorkel uh we've seen them in, in the past but uh, every time you see, uh, you know, uh, let's say uh, Chevrolet Corrado ZR2 uh, Bison, uh, the snorkel was not legal <laughs> on the road. I'm not sure why, but they had to be a dealer install and not coming from the factory. Uh, Interior-wise, it seems to be pretty much the same. Uh, there's, I don't see any special stitching and all that. But a really cool uh, design uh, for uh, uh, this uh, new Bronco, a new approach, uh, really feeling the vibe of the Everglades. I used to live in Florida, and uh, I, I dig this vibe. I think uh, it's a great-looking truck. Uh, so let me know in the comments, uh, you know, what do you think about this new approach for the Bronco? Uh, do you like uh, the, the big steel bumper, the winch and all that, the snorkel? or you're a little bit more into like uh, rock crawling or high speed off-roading from my point of view obviously uh, i like the high speed off-roader the raptor uh, version of the bronco but uh, i i see a lot of like a uh, customer who would like this edition of the everglade especially you, you know when you use your winch and all that everything is installed everything is warranted everything is built at the factory so that's a big plus so thank you for tuning in today and uh, we're going to see each other on our next podcast. Mm -hmm.